Hi Cancer, this is your weekly reading for December 1st to December 7th, 2018. We're going to do a Celtic cross with a Terramucha and then have some clarification cards with the Whispers of Love Oracle deck, Magic of Flowers, and the Divine Feminine Oracle cards. So let's get started with your Celtic cross for the week of December 1st to December 7th. Can we please get a Celtic cross for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 1st to December 7th? I like to shuffle for a little bit before I take a card that pops out, and then I'll stop the shuffle like that. Okay, we'll take it. Um, three of Wands as a U right now in the situation, and wow, Wheel of Fortune on the bottom. So I'm going to keep that up later. But let's go on to your challenge is Ace of Swords, Consciously, and here's another sign for Cancer, the Moon card. The foundation is Ten of Swords. You got this last time as well for your monthly. And recent past, we have Eight of Cups. Recent future, we have a Judgment card. Right now, you are the Sun. Surrounding you, five of pentacles, hopes and fears, six of swords, end result, ten of wands. Okay, I'm going to leave this wheel of fortune back here. You look like you're doing great with the three of wands, sun, judgment, and then we'll talk about the ten of wands. So here you are with the foundation here as well with the wheel of fortune. Here we are with the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is about creating, manifesting, and passionate energy towards something, usually about starting something, whether it be a love affair, whether it be a project or a new job, investment, whatever work you are doing, this is a card about waiting for your ships to come in and waiting for the return on your investments. Also, this card shows that a man is looking out towards the sea. It could also mean that you are checking on something that is at a distance. You could be in a long-term relation, uh, sorry, a long-distance relationship, or you're looking at someone from who could be, you know, across a great distance from you. It's about basically you have manifested from the Ace of Wands, which is the potential of everything to the two of wands where you are thinking about it and ruminating to the three of wands where you've manifested now you're waiting for your returns your challenge is the ace of swords ace of swords is about truth and clarity and victory so with the swords it's represented by um aquarius libra and gemini it's about the intellect about thoughts uh ace of swords is about truth as i said so you're cutting away things that no longer serve you. It's about cutting off the dead wood, so to speak. And it means that also you could be, while you're in this kind of a uh, vibe or frame of mind, that you have to be careful of which way the sword cuts. Because while you're in this kind of aggressively, you know, cutting off and making moves situation, you will feel repercussions as well because you have to be mindful while you're doing this of don't go too far with this energy because it will also affect you. So your obstacle or your challenge is here you are trying to over, um, wait for your ships to come in with these two ships, waiting for a return on your investments. And the challenge is to get rid of all of the extra baggage that doesn't serve you anymore. You might be overseas somewhere looking from a distance and here you are. This is what you need to do. You need to cut off the dead wood. Okay, so you have in the conscious position the moon card. The moon card right now is about secrets, intuition, psychic abilities. It's about everything that's beneath the surface. As you see, this person in this deck is holding her mouth, her hands over her mouth. So it's about secrets. And I'm just going to mention that currently we're in a planetary phase right now where major secrets are being revealed. 
with re Mercury retrograde and the alignment of Jupiter and now with the Scorpio influence, we are going through a time where major esoteric secrets or major secrets, basically it's a time of with secrets and Mercury retrograde where you're communicating and it's the planet of information, things are being revealed. So consciously, you maybe you're keeping something a secret. Maybe it's something that you're keeping to yourself. It could also represent isolation, depression, and loneliness. Here you are with the subconscious or the foundation. We have Ten of Swords, and above this you see the Ace of Swords. Ten of Swords is about disgrace, ruin, the end of a situation, and Tens are about completion. So this is a bad situation that you have. Possibly is this what you're keeping a secret here, this situation? But regardless, it's over. So let's not even talk about it anymore. It's done, okay? Here you go with the recent past, Eight of Cups. The recent past is walking away from a situation that no longer serves you. This is very fluid, this storyline here, because here you are looking out overseas, waiting for your return on your investments, cutting off the dead wood, cutting off those people, those things that no longer serve you, that are not for your best interest. You know this already. In the foundation, you know it's about an abuse of power. It's about disgrace, ruin, something that has been a very negative, stressful situation, a lot of people causing trouble, a lot of drama. Here you are in the recent past. You've stacked your cups up neatly and you're leaving the situation because you know that this drama is too much for you. You are no longer interested and this person looks so peaceful. They're just like, all right, that was nice. Now I'm done. I'm done and I'm walking away. Here you are in the recent future. Now this is a major arcana card. These cards were minor arcana. Major arcana basically means that you're gonna have more of an influence here. These are more fate cards. These are free will cards. This is like a fate card where, it is a fate card where the influence is going to be very difficult to avoid. The judgment call is about Angel Gabriel blowing a horn and resurrecting people from death. This is about a big wake-up call, an aha moment, an epiphany, something where you finally see the light and you're like, that's what this is all about. I get it now. Oh, okay. And now you know clearly what you have to do. It also represents a big yes. Here you are now with the sun. Sun is when you are in complete clarity. Everything is seen in the light of day and you're relieved. Sun is the happiest card in the tarot deck. That means everything is gonna work out well and you have wonderful strength and energy and positivity and innocence and happiness and joy again. Surrounding you is this energy. Somebody's feeling left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles, now it can represent, usually it represents a lack of faith or a lack of funds, a lack of um, coins. This is the institution, this is a church, and there is warmth, food, and haven, and safety, and comfort in this church, in this institution, but this person is outside. And some people will say, oh, they can't even see that they have support here, and I, I sincerely doubt that. Like, how can you not see that? In, in a more obscure way, it could be that you are being rebellious, and you are staying out of this institution because you no longer find that this serves you. Now, I don't know how that resonates for you. I'm just going to tell you the different vibrations of this card. Higher vibration is that you are purposely choosing to remain as an outsider from this institution. Lowest vibration, lack of funds, lack of faith. Now, this could be someone who is left out in the cold by you, or it could be the energy that is surrounding you right now. This kind of lack of faith, lack of... Um, support. In your hopes and fears, you have the six of swords. You have left a situation. This is you and the swords that you're carrying along with you that you should really leave behind, but you're physically leaving behind the situation. So it will all be sorted out. Uh, going to another destination that you're hoping will be more peaceful and offer you 
a better life and it will because you left a painful situation you left the ten of swords how did you leave it you made quick decisive action you stuck by your truth that is your challenge also to cut away those that no longer serve you serve you as in your best interests then you have the ten of wands in the final outcome and the ten of wands is a completion cycle you have a ten of swords over here and you have the tenth major arcana card with the wheel of fortune a dramatic turn of your fortune ten of wands you see here this person is embracing the wands you're embracing the responsibilities that come with great success this is about heavy is the head you have a lot of responsibilities you have a lot of stress and at your lower vibration it could be that you are feeling overwhelmed by all of this but in this deck this person is embracing those wands and that means they're embracing these responsibilities because it's worth it some people love their job some people love the decisions that they're picking you have started something new you see with the three of wands to the ten of wands you were looking out somewhere overseas and you made a move you waited for your investments to come in you waited for your ships to come in and you cut off those that no longer serve you and then you're happy now and in the outcome even though there's stress even though there's all these wands conflicting and the responsibilities and so on you're embracing it because that is your decision maybe you chose you chose that right you chose to be a rebel now I'm gonna pick one magic of flowers Oracle card for you this is for cancer Sun moon rising in Venus for the week of December 1st to December 7th Wow a lot of cards want to come out this is for cancer please Sun moon rising in Venus for December 1st to December 7th can we get one card for cancer Sun moon rising in Venus for December 1st to December 7th flower somebody looks liberated somebody looks free sunflower and the Sun this is you you look happy on the bottom you have Jasmine reminds me of the summer breeze song very summery very whimsical picture I don't know the meaning of Jasmine offhand. I don't remember. So we're going to leave that because it's at the bottom of the deck and we'll talk about Sunflower because that's the one that came up on top. So for Sunflower, we have... All right, glorious success. My goodness, could it be anything else with this sun? Okay, okay, here we go. This is Sunflower's magic, uh, spe magical specialties are happiness, health, and vitality, potency, power, radiance, sustenance, strength, truth. You, I'm going to leave this here, okay? You or the object of your inquiry are destined for success or are already in the process of experiencing success. Congratulations. Time is an illusion, and what we believe and expect we receive, so rest assured that every ounce of the success you seek is already fully present and real as we speak. Celebration is in order or will be very soon. Sunflower is aptly named as it powerfully embodies bright, nourishing, sustaining solar energy. To ride the tide of success that characterizes your current life experience, feel, imagine, and see blindingly bright sunlight at your heart. In your mind's eye, let it expand to fill your entire body, energy field, personal space, home, workspace, and any area or situation you regularly traverse. Trust in the message of Sunflower and feel confident in the success that is already yours by divine right. Additionally, climb any mountains that need climbing. Approach any work that needs to be done with fortitude and endurance and with the most positive possible mindset. Practice, prepare, show up, 
and commit for the long haul. Do not fail in your mission to get ready for the brightest and best possible outcome. In short, set a place at your table for success so that when it arrives, you will be ready. The following ideas and messages may apply to your present situation. Notice any that particularly call out to you as you read. Success is yours. The situation you're inquiring about will be successful. Prepare for and expect success. Show up, commit and work hard and you will not fail to succeed. You have recently completed a project successfully. Make sure you celebrate. Keep your mind and body healthy and alert to help manifest a successful outcome and so you'll be ready for it when it arrives. Visualize and remain confident in your ultimate success. Be forthright, honest and authentic in order to manifest success in the fairest, most positive possible way. Put yourself out there. Shine your light bravely and bring blessings to the world. Spend time with sunflower. Bring sunflower into your home or garden. Eat sunflower seeds or sunflower butter or take the homeopathic flower essence remedy. So this card is about joy, success, and everything wonderful that comes with success. And the only thing that it was mentioning was that make sure that you are being authentic and honest and truthful, which is to do with this as well. Truth and clarity is your challenge. Okay, so here we go with the Divine Feminine Oracle cards for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of December 1st to December 7th. Can we please get one Oracle card? One goddess to shed some light and insight for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 1st to December 7th. What a positive reading, my goodness. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 1st to December 7th. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 1st to December 7th. All right, I guess I have to pick. There, yay. All right. This one popped out over the sun card. Let's check the bottom first. Pope Joan, the pontiff of possibilities. The possibilities are limitless because the soul is limitless. Pope Joan, briefly I recall, is a female pope from way back. Apparently there was a female pope. Don't know more than that about that. I'm not going to read the card because we're going to talk about Catherine. This is Catherine Labouré. The patroness of miraculous healing, I am ready to heal. I am worthy of the miracles meant for me. Now let me read this to you and tell you about Catherine. It's not in alphabetical order. I'm going to have to look her up. All right, 48. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to go into the whole long-winded description, okay? So it says, who she is. Catherine Labouré embodies our capacity to facil facilitate our own healing. Catherine was born in Côte d'Or, France in 1806 when she was nine years old. She picked up a statue of the Virgin Mary after her mother's funeral and said with a kiss, Now you will be my mother. As a young woman, she became a member of the nursing order of St. Vincent de Paul in Paris. She chose this order after she had a vision of St. Vincent's heart in the church of Henri de Bac. In 1830, Catherine had a vision of Mary standing in the Vesica Pisces, 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 I don't know, with rays of light streaming out from the center of her open palms. She asked Mary in the vision why some of the rays don't reach the earth, and Mary explained, those are the graces for which people forget to ask. Catherine was instructed to create a miraculous medal. Based on this vision of Mary, all who wear them, it is believed, will receive great graces. St. Catherine's miraculous medal became wildly popular among all sects of Christianity. It is worn by millions of Christians all over the world to this day. When your soul selects her card, it can feel effortless to ask for what our loved ones need. We can fall on our knees at times to pray for the health and highest possible outcome for our beloved children and partners or friends. What's often far more 
difficult is asking for all that we need. For many of us, lack, lack of self-worth can get in the way of realizing what that we can ask for so much more, and that ultimately there is no difference between praying for our own needs and the needs of our loved ones. There are so many miracles, graces, and blessings that don't arrive simply because we don't ask for them. Spirit is ethical. Spirit doesn't interfere with our intrinsic right to choose our own adventure story. Free will is ours, so we have to ask for spirit to intervene in the effort of our own healing. Ask and you will find. This is a spiritual truth, and also suffering is optional. Suffering doesn't glorify us or make us more holy. At any point, we can ask for the highest possible good to shower down on us. We can ask to be healed in ways we can't even imagine by handing that healing over to the divine. The healing might not arrive in the way we picture being healed. Our lower back may still throb with pain, but our heart has shifted and there's a miraculous amount of light within our lives again. If we can hand over an attachment to what healing is going to look like, we can receive all the blessings waiting for us. The soul voice meditation is, what can I ask for help in healing? Intention, I am ready to heal. I am worthy of the miracles meant for me. Basically, not having to take an extreme suffering route and asking for help in healing to spirit. Finally, we're going to do a, a pull a card from the Whispers of Love Oracle deck. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 1st to 7th. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 1st to the 7th. Please get one Oracle card. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 1st to the 7th. If it doesn't pop up, I'll pick one. Okay, I'm going to pick one. There we go. On the bottom we have, get to know each other. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. And it's number 44. On the top we have, oh, focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. So let's pull this card. It's meaning out. And it's a short one, so that's okay. Okay. So for this card, it says, It is easy to see the faults in other people. Think of the positive characteristics of the people in your life. Remember the things that caused you to love them in the first place. Focusing on the love will change and heal the negativity that was once there. Okay. Cancer, that was your weekly reading for December 1st to December 7th. I hope it resonated with you. If not, that's okay. No big deal. Check out your monthly reading. And otherwise, I will have daily readings up as well. Until next time, take care and have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.